Namaste. Welcome back to Yoga's Mat Chat, where today we have this beautiful fire. The color matches the leaves around me with fall. We just had the fall uh, equinox. So a flock of geese just flew over. I don't know if you can hear that or not in the distance, but they must be going back to their uh, winter homes for now. Well, sometimes here on Mat Chat, we can get into some pretty serious topics, but today we decided to keep it light and talk about living life and having fun. Well, anyone who knows my husband, Blue Eyes, that I affectionately call him, knows that he's a big kid in an adult body, and I don't think he'll ever grow up, but that's the one of the many things that I love about him. He has a philosophy about life that every day you should do something fun for yourself. So now our idea of fun might be a little bit different than your idea, but it's really about appreciating the little things in life. There's a million things that you can do that cost little or practically nothing. Well, one of the things that we like to do is take time in the woods, just like we're doing today. We like to take our puppies on hikes and watch them play. And it just, they crack us up. They're so much fun. But if you don't like to go into the woods, you could also go for a walk in a park, or you could go to a beach, you could walk in a mall. Um, there's other places like that. Another fun thing that we like to do is we take a trip down to Quick Trip on Mondays, which is a, a little bit of a drive for us, but they have what's called Dollar Karuba Day. Their lattes are every bit as good, if not better than any big name coffee shop in my opinion. Well, we look forward to this on Mondays, and it's also fun. Sorry if you don't have a quick trip near you, but I'm sure you can find a local coffee shop that's really good, and you'd appreciate that too. Mmm, that's so good. There are tons of things that you can do every day that are fun, and all you have to do is just get up and do them. Some examples of what you can do is watching the sunrise or the sunset. To me, I think that's one of the greatest shows on earth. Another thing you can do is pack a picnic lunch. You gotta eat, right? So why not make it fun? You could also play a board game or cards with someone. Maybe it's while you're visiting an older person who can't get out of their home or even a nursing home. Uh, you could go out and get some ice cream. We've learned that we can get a half a gallon of ice cream and waffle cones, and it gives you three or four servings for the price of what it would have costed you at, say, an ice cream shop. So you're still going out for ice cream, but you're just having it at home. You could also go to a museum or a zoo. You could organize a neighborhood or community cleanup. It just feels good to do something for somebody else. You could volunteer at a soup kitchen or a homeless shelter. You could also attend a farmer's market, which are really big and popular right now. You could also pick strawberries or apples and make a pie for somebody that you love. You could pick up your fishing pole and go fishing, go to the library, rearrange the furniture in your house. If you want, you could also write a bucket list of these things that you would like to do and just pick one of those things. And of course, you can also practice yoga, which is absolutely free. You could do it at home in the comfort of your own home. And if you want, you can go to yogas.com. You don't have to even own one of these mats. You can just go to the website under the yoga's poses, and I'll show you how to practice yoga, which is absolutely free. There's so many more things that I could list, but you could just do some re research yourself on the internet of all these free things to do. And the key is to do something fun for yourself every day and be grateful for it. You'll feel better about yourself and hopefully you'll, it'll put a smile on your face and somebody else's too. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining in on Matt Chat. My coffee's almost done. The fire's going out, so I'll close. And remember, yogas, it's about you.